Welcome back to the workbench. Today we're working on the AMT 1959 Cadillac Ambulance Surfshark. Well, let's take a look at what you get in the kit. Pop this back. Okay, here's that very long Cadillac body. At first glance, the body looks pretty good. There is a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done. It's not bad, I've seen worse. Let's take that body off of there. The interior tub looks pretty good. Needs a little bit of cleanup before I can prime it, but not bad, not bad. Set that over there. Now, I want you to take a look at this chassis. Do you notice anything about it? How about now? Yeah, not only is it warped, got a nice little twist to it as well but that's okay I know how to fix that I kind of expected it because it's a piece that's 11 well the car overall is 11 inches long but come to expect that within the AMT kit but let's look at what else you get in the box you get the clear pieces with all kinds of different stuffs. Get your tail lights. And of course, as usual, I don't take that stuff out until I'm ready to use it because I don't want to lose it. You also get two metal axles. You get two separate bags with tires. One set is somewhat normal they're non-labeled tires so they're just plain wall this set here is for the back because they're just a little bit wider tire up next is your chrome tree it's your roof lights that go up here antennas mirrors The remaining part of the tree, they only give you baby moon wheels. That's your only choice. The little chrome fins that go on the back here for your tail lights. Front and rear bumpers. The next tree is your wheel backs, dashboard. These pieces. Uh, I think they go on the back here on the side. I'm not 100% certain. Your steering wheel, that needs a little clean up. And your wheel backs. And your surf bar, surf boards, words, can't speak. <sighs> and your surfboards. These look like they'll paint up pretty nicely. Next up, your decal sheet. It gives you a couple of options for the surfboard decals. Those shark teeth that goes there. And then you have a couple of license plates and other oddities. So that's your decal sheet. Because this is a curbside model, there's no engine to build. So it's going to be a real quick, easy build. Here's your direction sheet. Now there's just three parts. Oh, speaking of parts, I forgot about this one. The steering column was loose in the bag. It just fell out of the bag when I opened it. Be mindful of that. That may be broken off in your kit as well. So, the interior is four parts. Ugh, come on. There we go. Pretty easy. The hardest part about this one is getting the warp out of the chassis and getting the paint job laid down properly. 
which I've been struggling with here lately. The last three or four kits have fought me, fought me, excuse me, fought me quite hard getting a decent paint job down. But this one here, I think, I think it's going to be all right. So there's not much as far as sub assemblies go. Let me just get the warp out of this chassis so I can get it painted. And I'll see you at the paint booth. Okay, fellas. After a little bit of cleanup, there was some mold lines back here in the corners. And just a little bit of flash here and there. Wasn't too bad. I've noticed that uh, these parts here, these are the tail fins. Of course, I should have known. These go on right here. And they have a little slot on the back side, or concave part, I should say. And if you look at the body right here, you'll notice a little cave-in spot here. I keep saying cave-in. What am I talking about? Anyway, a little concave spot. Well, this fits right over that, just like that. Now, in the direction sheet, this is to be attached at a later time, I assume after you've got the body all together because you're putting on, uh, you know, the, the chrome piece that goes here and the windows and, you know, there's a, a few things involved in that step. So I'm going to go ahead and attach mine now and then get it primed with this piece in place. Now, there are a couple of things to point out. Well, not a couple of things. Just basically one thing. Right in this area here, there's a uh, push pin mark that I almost didn't see. So when you go to put this together, make sure you address that. It's right in this area here. I can still see a little bit of it there. I'm going to have to sand a little bit more. Each one of these has that little push pin mark right there. Both, both sides, I should say. And once this is attached, you're probably not going to see it, but it's something to address now while you can, because you never know. You can attach that, and as soon as you hit it with paint, it'll stand out like a, a light in the darkness. So make sure you get that sanded down really well. Like I said, the rest of the body, I had to clean up a little bit on the bottom here around the wheel wells a little bit, well, fender skirts, if you will, where those mold lines were back here. They were also up on this lip here, so make sure you sand that really well and to get that, you know, get that mold line out of there. Now, I use the fingernail files that you can buy over Dollar Tree. I think there's 50 of them in a pack or something those work really well I picked these up at Hobby Lobby they're on flexible like styrofoam and they have a couple of different grits available on on both sides those are getting uh, those are good for getting in these contour shapes here because this doesn't really work really well it's too stiff but this is small enough where you can get into those shapes really well and get those mold lines taken care of bef before you go to paint. Now, our kitty cat friends in the house here, um, one decided to jump in my lap today and now I got cat hair everywhere, as you can see back here. Don't worry, I'll take care of that before I put any primer on this. So let me get these fins attached and we'll head on over to the paint booth.
It's bare metal foil time. Yeah, this car is going to require quite a bit of bare metal foil. So let's get started. This is going to take a while. But I think it's going to look really sharp when it's done. Got the bare metal foil done, and man, te I, let me tell you, that was the most intense bare metal foil I've done in a while. It wasn't that it was difficult, really, but it was all of the little intricate pieces that had to be cut and laid in to make this look right. It took me a good, uh, well, in your point of view, it was only a few minutes. But it took me a good two, three hours to do all of that foil. Like I said, it was just because it was, you know, each little individual piece, you know, to, to put it all together. But it's finished. I have the front bumper installed already and I got to glue the glass in. It's just kind of sitting in there. I'm amazed it hasn't fallen out yet. But I just got a few more things to put together and something interesting. I, I believe this, well I know that this kit was also the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters and here's some of the proof of it. They have these somewhat modern light bars, but they only have the tops. They don't have the bottoms um, to mount them on the car. So, yeah, that was kind of neat. That was right in the center of the window glass. As you can see, I've got the interior all finished. And... I decided to go with kind of a two-tone white up in the front and, and tan at the back. We've got the chassis all finished up. And so I'm ready to push all the final parts together. So I'll see you at the final, at the turntable. How would we, how should I call that? At the turntable? I'll see you at the turntable. Yeah, that, that sounds good. All right, I'll see you there in just a minute. Hey, fellas, welcome back. The surf shark is completed. Not as the surf shark, but as the Malibu Beach Rescue Ambulance. Yes, I went full ambulance on this because that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> It looks kind of odd with the baby moon hubcaps and trim rings, but hey, the ambulance driver wanted to dress up his rig a little bit, and that was the cheapest way to do it. Now this is Krylon Red Pepper, Krylon Gloss White for the roof, and Krylon Clear over top of it all. So what do you think of this build? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing a good job. If you've already subscribed, thank you, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, what's keeping you from doing it? It's free. I don't charge you anything. <laughs> anyway... Thank you for watching Scale Auto Guys Workbench, and I'll see you on the next build.